In this video, we're gonna talk about the top 15 buildings to live in downtown San Diego. These are gonna be the buildings with the very best amenities, the very best views, the very best locations, but more importantly, more people are moving into these buildings than any other building in the entire city. We're gonna hop into that list in just one second, but before we do, my name is Wesley Guest and I'm a local real estate agent here in downtown San Diego. I make videos just like this at least once a week all about living in the city. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you're thinking about moving within to or from downtown San Diego or anywhere in San Diego for that matter don't be shy about reaching out to me I'd love to help you out my contact information is down below in the description so like I just said this video is comprised of the most popular buildings in downtown San Diego they have the best amenities the best locations the best the very best of the best but the number one thing that they have going on is that there are more people people buying into these buildings than any any other building in the entire city. That's a good thing. Number one is a building I absolutely love. It's right on the border of the Columbia District and Little Italy. It feels like you're in Little Italy, really. It is downtown San Diego's newest high-rise like condo building. It's called Savina. If you ask me to talk to you about a building that has all the very best and newest uh, amenities possible in any luxury high-rise in the city, I'm gonna talk to you about Savina. It's got everything that all the other luxury high rises have. It has like the amazing fitness center, I mean amazing fitness center, the sauna, steam room, pool concierge, 24 hour security, amazing pool area. And when I say amazing, I mean this is like a luxury hotel setup. Number two on the list here is gonna be a building called Pinnacle. So it's a luxury high rise. Up until a short time ago, it was the tallest building, in, a residential building in downtown San Diego. Since then, there's taller buildings. You can't miss it if you're looking at the skyline. It's almost got like, see that point to it right there? That's gonna be pinnacle. It's gonna have all the luxury amenities like the fitness center, the pool area, the steam room, the sauna, concierge, 24-hour security. Very convenient location right there in the Marina District, like right on Market Street. Number three on the list is a building I really like. It's gonna be called Electra. So it's almost right on like the waterfront. Now there's another building in front built by the same builders called Pacific Gate. And and then there are some hotels in the Navy complex going in in front of it, but the, the views are still phenomenal. It's gonna have all the luxury high-rise amenities, it's gonna have the concierge, once again, uh, the steam room, the sauna, it's gonna have an amazing pool set up, fantastic building. Next building I wanna talk about is a mid-rise located right on Pacific Coast Highway in the Columbia District. It's called Breeza. Very popular building for pretty much the reason being it is a phenomenal, location right next to Little Italy. You're gonna be very close to, let's say, if you'll walk out to the San Diego Bay, be able to walk along the boardwalk, the water. The price points are a little bit lower than some of the other luxury high rises in the immediate area. I think that's probably the biggest driver for this building. Nice building, great location, and the price is right. <laughs> the next building I wanna talk about is gonna be like the OG building, two towers downtown, OG like luxury high rise. It's gonna be called the Harbor Club, some of the very most expensive real estate in the entire city. Some of the layouts and the views from this building are just, I mean, they're incredible. It's gonna be right on or right next to like the San Diego Convention Center. It's gonna have all the amenities like Amazing pools, uh, it's gonna have like uh, concierge, 24 hour security, plenty of parking, it's, its own library, which is pretty unique uh, as far as downtown buildings. And since you're set here, like right in the Marina District, I mean, location is perfect. Next building I wanna talk about is called City Front Terrace. This building catches your eye right away. It is very impressive, it's beautiful from the outside. Actually, part of it was built into an old like soap factory down there, which they kept some of the outside aesthetic, so it's very cool. You're gonna have the concierge, 24 hour security, you're gonna have, got a couple different pools. One's more like a splash pool, one is more like a lap pool, it's a little bit quieter. Koozie, uh, you're gonna have like a fitness center. Next building I wanna talk about is gonna be another luxury high rise. Actually, one of my personal favorites in the entire downtown San Diego. I lived there for a few years. It's called The Mark. So it's gonna be located in East Village, right on Market Street. You're just a couple blocks away from uh, Petco Park where the San Diego Padres play. Super convenient. 
It's right across the street from my favorite gastropub, the Naughty Barrel. But this building, you're gonna have so full concierge, 24 hour security, pool, salt water. It's gonna have an amazing jacuzzi, barbecue area, small green belt you can hang out in. It makes up an entire city block. So it's very uh, unique kind of for the East Village area. It's one of the few uh, luxury high rises there. Next building I wanna talk about is called Icon. So this is located about a block and a half away from the Mark in East Village as well. It's literally across the street from Petco Park. They have a rooftop on top of, uh, there's four buildings that make up Icon, I should say that. <laughs> but the tallest one, you can see it's a big blue building. It They have a rooftop there with a barbecue area, TV, and it overlooks Petco Park. So you could be up there watching Padre games and have amazing views of like the bay and the ocean. It's incredible. The building uh, has an amazing fitness center. Um, they have a concierge. 24 hour security. Next building I want to talk about, we're going to go back to Little Italy. It's going to be called Aqua Vista. So it's kind of similar to Icon. I would say it's not quite a luxury high rise, but it has all the amenities that a luxury high, or high rise would have, including a pool, but it's not quite at the level to make it an actual luxury high rise. Fantastic location right in Little Italy. So you walk out your door and you can walk right to the restaurants, the shops, and bars if that's your thing. So if you're looking in Little Italy, you're looking for a little slightly lower price point, Aqua Vista might be a good option for you. Next building I want to talk about is actually going to be, there's only a couple buildings that residential like condo buildings that are actually located in the gas lamp quarter, which is technically like 4th, 5th, and 6th uh, Avenue, but it's called Trella. It's probably falls in that uh, it's not a luxury high rise, it's something similar to more like Icon or Aqua Vista that we just talked about. Doesn't have all the amenities. Has some, does not have the concierge, um, has some security, but uh, has a fitness center. That's pretty much it. Prices here are gonna be reasonable, but the big allure here is gonna be you are right in the gas lamp quarter. That's pretty sweet. Next building I wanna talk about, it's located up in Cortez Hill. It's actually butts up right to the off ramp, like for the 163 freeway south and or north <laughs> called Aria. So it's a very tall building. If you've driven in or out of downtown San Diego using that 10th or 11th Avenue or 10th Avenue coming in 10th, going out 11th, right there, I mean, you can't miss it. As uh, amenities, you're gonna have security. It has a small pool. Uh, it's more like a lap pool, but it has a pool. It's gonna have a fitness center. The price points are gonna be a little bit less than some of the other high rises that you might be looking at. Next building I wanna talk about, this is gonna be located towards like the east side, like right on the border. Technically it's in Little Italy, called Palermo. Kinda of like a Mediterranean kind of style, like architecture going on. It's gonna be super convenient, like if you're commuting, let's say, I mean it's the first building as you get off the freeway right there, so you'd be home right away. Small fitness center, so, but that's about it. It's a couple of barbecue areas, but as far as amenities, that's about it. Being in Little Italy, you're gonna be very close to all the shops and the uh, restaurants on India Street. This next building I wanna talk about is Little located right in the Columbia District. It's pretty much bay and oceanfront facing other than a couple like hotels and a Navy building, which are actually not quite as tall. This is called Pacific Gate. Probably some of the best views in the entire San Diego. It's the second newest residential condo, like high rise building. As far as amenities, this is tops. They're gonna have all the luxury, the normal luxury amenities. They're gonna have the concierge, the security, the amazing gym, barbecues, the pool area, all that kind of stuff, but they have extras that other buildings don't have. They have like a, a yacht that is shared by the HOA. The amenities, I'm telling you, if you're looking for like the most high-end like luxury amenities, this could be the building for you. Next building I want to talk about is going to be in East Village. This is an interesting location because you're kind of set up by yourself. It's called Smart Corner. Big attraction here is going to absolutely be the price point. I mean, you could be on the 14th to 15th floor, have great views, but you're going to be in a condo for half the price. Some of the other luxury high rises we've been talking about, but you gotta keep in mind it's smart corner. The base of the building is gonna be the, uh, it's a mass transit. The trolley station is right there. There's gonna be a lot of buses coming in and out. It's gonna be very busy. There's a rooftop area. It's got like a spa up there. Um, there is a gym in the building. Next building I wanna talk about is probably some of the lower uh, 
And as far as like pricing to get into the building, as far as like condos go on this entire list, it's gonna be called Metro, which is located in East Village, right kind of catty corner to Icon, which we talked about before. Very close to Petco Park where the San Diego Park is played. Metro, it's gonna have kind of bare bones as far as amenities. It does have a gym, which is like in on the underground, like parking level. It's a pretty good sized gym though. There's a courtyard with a breakout area, which is nice. It does have a small community room. And one more building I'm gonna talk about, it's actually two buildings. It's called the Granite Santa Fe. So right there by the train tracks. It's in the Columbia District. Amazing high rises. Each of the towers is gonna have its own separate HOA. They mirror each other. There's the North Tower and then the South Tower. They each have their own amazing like outdoor pool setup. They each have their own gym, own community room, 24 hour security, 24 hour concierge. Super, super nice buildings. Amazing, amazing, amazing views. This is a building not to be missed. So I hope you enjoyed that or found that helpful. Top 15 kind of buildings in downtown San Diego. Putting out videos just like this, downtown San Diego at least once a week, please subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I'd really appreciate it. And don't be shy about reaching out if you need help moving to, from, or within downtown San Diego. I'd love to help you out. Contact information, once again, is down in the description. If you're looking for your next video, check this one out, downtown San Diego. Have an amazing day. I'll see you on the next one.